sign saying Turkestan, so we're pretty much here. Sultana's sleeping still. Oh, she's awake. Didn't get much of a sleep, to be honest. It's going to be an interesting day, but nevertheless, energized and ready for adventure. Okay, guys, we have just arrived to Aristan Bob's mausoleum. Sultan is getting ready back there. The females have to put on something to wrap their head because it's a holy place. They have a nice little shop here where they sell things. Nice antique hats and old Kazakh traditional things. Here's the entrance. Aristan Bab was a companion of the Prophet Muhammad in the Muslim religion. And one day the Prophet Muhammad was eating persimmons, it's a kind of fruit, and they kept dropping out of the plate. So he said, somebody must take this persimmon and they will live for 400 years. So one of his companions at the table was Aristan Bab. He was the one who took the persimmon. So he was able to live for 400 years and he was living in the 12th century. They constructed this mausoleum in his name or above his grave in the 14th century. But since the 14th century, it's been destroyed many times. Like in the 18th century, it was destroyed and they had to rebuild it. And then it was destroyed in 1907, I believe, from an earthquake and they had to rebuild it. And then in 1971, it was destroyed because of high water levels. So it just damaged the building and they had to restore it again or rebuild it. That's a little bit of the history in the background of this mausoleum. And it's a holy place where people go and worship and pray. Yeah, actually, the tour guide woman was telling us that this is where you would come and ask for forgiveness for your sins. And then the next place we're going to go to is basically where you would make wishes for what you want. Look at this piece of ancient history, guys. This is the mausoleum of Aristan Bab, and this is where you make your wishes. <laughs> We just came out of this mausoleum. We um, asked for forgiveness for our sins. And the man read a Quran verse, I guess. And we sat on the floor and it was very peaceful. And you can actually see where Aristan Bab is buried. He's actually buried there past the gates. 12th century, this guy was buried. Here we have some holy water. Sultan is going to put some money in exchange for the holy water. It's symbolic. Что вы больше всего хотите увидеть? Больше всего сегодня That was a nice experience. We just went to visit those two, uh, I think they're called mausoleums back there. There was some more praying going on, reading of the Quran in that cool ancient voice. I love these Muslim looking buildings. So now we're just gonna head back to the bus. Hopefully they don't leave without us because I think we're one of the last people to walk back to the bus. All right, we just got back in the bus. I think we're the last people on the bus. So we're late. So we just got to the second stop. We are entering the old city of Otrar. This was a city in the Silk Road times in the 8th to 9th century. It was a thriving civilization. They actually had baths and a running water system in the 9th century established here in this city. They were pretty advanced for their time. Another interesting thing to note here is that there are snakes in this area. And all of them, I think, from what the tour guide is saying, are poisonous or 
the majority of them. So we actually have to be careful because I do see snake holes, little holes in the dirt here, probably snake houses. And don't want to be getting bit by a snake on this nice bus tour trip. That would just ruin the whole thing, wouldn't it? So apparently in the Mongolian Empire times, when the Mongols were invading the world and they got to this part of the world, they actually disturbed this thriving civilization. It was rich, it was thriving, it was a trade center, and the Mongols wanted a piece of that. Check this out, guys. This is uh, over a thousand years old. Could you imagine, guys, just picture yourself in the ninth century and this was a brand new thing bathing could you imagine how excited you would have been to attend one of these baths i know i would have been excited this is incredible what do you think about the bath system here well it's amazing it's cool to be here right eh? yeah a thousand years later we're still walking around yeah and just behind me here you have the great steps just land that was all once occupied. Well, not all of the land, but a lot of this land was occupied during the Silk Road times. You could imagine what people were doing. People were trading. People from China, people from Europe would cross here. That must have been such a ma an amazing thing because to travel here, it must have taken months if you were coming from Europe, like Venice, like Marco Polo did. Could you imagine the feeling of coming to a new place and it takes such hard work it takes like months and months riding camels and horses and caravans whereas today we can just take a plane and be here in what 20 hours 10 hours you know so we don't feel the appreciation of travel as much as they did back then that's for sure <laughs> These were the city walls of the great city of Otrar. We're walking along it. This is what it feels like to enter the gates. Another interesting fact, in the 12th century during the Mongolian Empire, Juchi Han, which is Genghis Khan's oldest son, came here and took over the city. How crazy is that, guys? So this is what people would have opened the door to look out to when leaving their home in the 9th century. Okay, guys, I'm about to enter an old home here. Look at this, We're going into an old ancient home. And if I was coming home, this would probably be my toilet. This would be the bathroom here. We have a bedroom just behind here. And it's a pretty good sized bedroom. Nice windows. What else do we have? So basically one bedroom, a bathroom, and this is like another office room, probably like a weapon room or something back then. And 
Okay, maybe it's not a toilet because there's two of them in here. Or maybe they had two bathrooms. I don't know. Who knows? But this looks like what somebody's uh, house would have looked like back then. This city was an old ghost town. When they found out about its history, they rebuilt it because most of it was destroyed. Most of it was not here anymore. So they took the time to rebuild it to what it would have looked like back then. So I'm kind of assuming that this stuff here is all the old ruins and the stuff like these houses in the back were probably rebuilt to show what it would have looked like. But all these things were the findings, like the pieces of brick, and they just had to guess how to rebuild it, what it would have looked like back then. Guys, this is another UNESCO site. We're so fortunate to be able to see two UNESCO sites in the same two weeks. Unfortunately, our time is up and we have to get back to the bus. There is a field full of cameras. Just out there in the wild. We saw some donkeys fighting. A lot of cool stuff out here in the south of Kazakhstan. Now we're on the main road, uh, the central road in Turkestan. We're headed to a restaurant for lunch and it's a very clean looking city. All right guys, we just came out the bus. Now it's lunchtime. We're headed to this Daulet place here. Looks pretty interesting. Look behind me here and look in front of me here. As we enter, oh, oh, oh look at this place. We have our own little booth here, VIP section. So it's lunchtime. Super excited to eat in this beautiful place. Look at these chandeliers. Gorgeous. Oh, this would probably be better. Let's sit here. This would be even cooler, more traditional, sitting on the floor here. Class, huh? Eh? Ah, say hi to the vlog. What's your name? Uh, that's cool. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Canada. Yeah, are you in Kazakhstan? Yeah. Oh, cool. So, she's from Kazakhstan. Nice name. She's on the tour with us as well. Oh, yeah, some bread. Wow, look at that. Eh? It's called Tashkent tea. Uh, green tea mixed with uh, black tea. Okay, it's Tashkent tea. It's green tea mixed with black tea. And the youngest woman serves the tea, especially down south in the more traditional religious part. Thank you. South Kazakhstan bread. Fresh, hot, delicious. Smells so good. Как вам хлеб? Вкусно? Супер. Горячий, с тандыра. Какие лепешечки. Oh, it's all the food. Плав. Суп. Lagman. The shashlik has just arrived. It smells out of this world. And this is called kuksi. This is my uh, soup bowl that just arrived. It's another salad over there. Adin, dva, tri. I love Kazakhstan. just finished that was delicious we had a nice big meal and now we're gonna go back to the bus and we're supposed to go to the big mausoleum that uh, Turkestan sorry Turkestan is famous for don't get it confused with Turkmenistan Turkmenistan is another country south of Kazakhstan and even more south of Uzbekistan this is Turkestan if you come to Kazakhstan it's like a must visit place the whole city is protected by UNESCO which is interesting so I think that's why it's super clean here. We are going to the mausoleum for about four hours. There's a hotel right here. If you wanna come stay at a hotel right next to the mausoleum, 
you can do that. Wow, there's yurts over there. All those are yurts, 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 yurts. This is a huge place. So you have like things over there. And then you have this entrance to the mausoleum. It looks like gates to an old city. Beautiful. Entering the gates of the mausoleum. The old walls. This guy's painting here. Wow. They even have a little souvenir shop in here. They're selling things. People are dressed up here. Beautiful costumes. Some more shops. This is awesome. It's the smart people selling amazing things on the sides here. Wowzers. There we go. If you want souvenirs, you know where to go. As we approach this incredible piece of architecture, there are just shops to the left and to the right. This thing is so much bigger in person, guys. Look at this interesting place. Wow, there's actually a lot of tourists here. So behind me is the mausoleum. So this mausoleum was built in the early 1400s. And all of these tiles, these aqua blue colored tiles are still the same color. They haven't even washed off or, you know, been washed away. The color's still there. It's been preserved. This mausoleum belongs to Hoja Ahmed Yosawi. This is uh, incredible to see something that's been around for so long. It is massive. It's so much bigger in person. There's a lot of great people who are buried. Uh, great people during history. I think Ablai Han was also buried here as well. And this place is massive, guys. Look at this thing. It's just, I can't even like, I'm hurting my head just looking up at it. Incredible architecture. It must have taken such a long time and hard work to build this thing. Look at the bricks up close. Each brick. The wood. Incredible. Okay guys, I've been dreaming about this right here. Look right here. I've been wanting to do this photo for so long. I've been looking in Kazakhstan. It's been hard to find, but I'm so happy and I'm gonna see how much it costs and what the process is here. I wanna take a picture in the traditional clothing. There's an eagle right there. You can put the eagle on your arm and take a photo with the eagle. That's gonna be awesome. Good. We just did a little photo shoot. That was awesome. You can see the photos. Actually, I'll probably put that in the thumbnail. I'm so fascinated with this massive mausoleum behind me. It's just insane. Look at this thing. It's like going down to the dungeons walking down this path there are some camels people riding some camels here the camels are massive Holy cow. look at this thing okay so here we have uh, a ruin of some sort bricks and down to the dungeon you don't want to be down there that's for sure what is this here I don't know but it looks cool maybe you have to pay to play what do we got here it's probably the snake pit I don't think you want to be in there this is like a wonderland guys there's like so much to see here I thought it was just this mausoleum to see but no, there's all the way over there. You can go and walk all the way to that blue thing uh, with the blue top over there. There's, you can basically walk around this whole place. That's why they gave us like 4.5 hours to walk around here. Now I understand. Look at this, the inside of the mausoleum, guys. Look at the ceilings in here. 
super high. Here's an interesting fact, guys. Okay, they actually have it right here. So it's called the Thai Kazan. It was a caste and settlement of Karnak, which was located 25 kilometers from Yasi in 20 Shawal of the year 801. So this is super old, guys, and it was taken by the Russians, and it has been put back in its rightful place. So it's good to see that. These were the old doors behind me. The doors that are here are probably renewed, but these are the old ones. You can see like the holes on the top. There's one, on the other side, there's the second one. left the mausoleum we were inside we we're looking at the different rooms in there and a lot of cool things to see a lot of graves in there people buried a lot of information now we're just walking to another cool part which is a whole bunch of new structures and architecture i don't know what all these things are it's like a little town like a little village that you can explore you see old town eski Kalasik, right here and what else korgan the mound that way, Ortalgi Center. So we're walking towards the Ortalgi Center. This cool stuff back here, it's super nice. clean very new and like ancient kind of feeling architecture with uh, obviously modern made here you have an international university of tourism and hospitality right behind me here all right let's go in here oh bazaar assalamu alaikum nice hats Oh, look at these. And we're out of here. Look at this beautiful building in the back. I don't know what it is, but it's gorgeous. Great architecture out here in Turkestan. This place is amazing. Look at this. You have Magnum, the grocery store over here. You have the Naudu signs. You have all kinds of stuff going on. It's beautiful. The people are beautiful. The culture is beautiful. Come and visit Turkestan right now. Okay, guys, so we're seeing Naudu's everywhere. This sign, Nauruz, is the new year for the Turkic traditions and uh, tradition in Kazakhstan. Nauruz is basically their new year. March 22nd is the day. Wow, that's amazing. Look at that. Very little kid driving this thing. He's ready to go. Look at him. Wow, they have a flying theater here in 8D. I've never seen that before. Turkestan is advanced. Look at this place. It's like the Kazakhstan Disneyland. That's the music.
All right, we're gonna head back to the bus soon because we have to be there for six o'clock. So, six or 6.30. So we don't wanna be late. It was a super amazing pleasure to explore this place. I will definitely be back in the future with more camera gear, more prepared. I wanna get an amazing vlog here because there's so much potential. We're not even done exploring this place. to coffee boom um, that's global coffee over there but over here coffee boom baby let's do this let's go check this place out oh class nah. this place is nice okay guys we're leaving this place wasn't the best experience tea wasn't fresh the coffee was not warm and my soup was okay though our friend's soup was too salty and sultana didn't even get her drink for like 30 minutes and then we had to go so she just gave it back anyways we are going back to the bus and then we're going to be headed to shimkent which is another city in the south region of Kazakhstan. We're gonna be going to our hotel, checking in, and maybe seeing if we can eat something close in the area, maybe do something before we go to sleep. Okay, guys, we have just arrived to Shumkent City. This is our hotel. The hotel name is Tourist. There we go, we have entered the hotel. All right, so we got our key. Fourth floor, guys. I don't even think there's elevators in here. Okay, I think we made it to the fourth floor. It's the darkest floor. No lights in here. There we go, 413. Let's see the masterpiece. So this is the room, guys, 413. And as you can see, the four is there, but the one and the three are painted on. That's interesting. All right, let's check out the bathroom. The bathroom, okay. I've never had one of these in my life, but it's a first and there's a first time for everything. So the shower is all together with the toilet. It's all part of the experience and the adventure, guys. So we're gonna enjoy this. And the good thing is that Sultana found a light. Okay, here's the view from the luxurious hotel. And there it is. Okay, so we're just gonna shower and sleep. And that is it. Do you guys like the beds? One bed for her, one bed for me. Yeah, bald and bankrupt. If you ever watch this, we have to give you credit for your amazing tolerance for hotels like this. I'm still too spoiled for this, but I'm doing it and I'm not complaining and I'm gonna enjoy the experience regardless. But I just wanna give you your daps because you've been doing this a long time and you go to different countries and different cities and you go solo and you just pick hotels like this all the time. Good man, good man. We're gonna shower and go to sleep. See you in the morning, peace.